Hello, and welcome back to Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, the Director's Cut. Um, in the last episode, we just got back from Ireland, and, uh, we found, uh, a s no, wait, we, we were in Ireland, right? Yeah, we were, yeah, okay, I remember that, and let's see. Yeah, uh, it's episode 20, if you didn't tell. Look look above. Anyways, we are 46% complete. Yay! Let's uh, get back into it, shall we? Hey. Okay, there we go. That loading screen, there's like none. Okay, we just came back here. Let's see. Papa is the link to the whole business. He was the real reason why Karshan asked to meet me. I hope George does... Uh, come over, but this part of the story must remain my own terrible secret. Okay, let's um, let's look at uh, this answering machine. See if we got any messages. I had messages waiting to be played. Oh. I had messages waiting to be played. I know. You have three messages. Ah. Uh -huh. Hey, Collard, it's me, your favorite editor. Ah, uh, guess what? I'm gonna give you a second chance. Oh. I need somebody to write the TV column. <sighs> Pays lousy, so what's new? If you're interested, drop by the office. In fact, drop by the office anyway. We have to talk, Nico. That story of yours I spiked. It won't go away. You've made some dangerous enemies out there. Shit. Hey, Nico, it's your old pal. I mean, your new pal, George. Yeah. Oh, Ireland. <laughs> it's a whole different country. It, and he... I got some amazing news for you. Jam uh -huh. a story, in fact. God, you're lame. Hey. Oh no. You know what he says. Goodbye, dear girl. Till tomorrow. Merlin? Merlin? My god. Merlin's the killer. I'd better get over there and mourn her now. Now? When it came to being two faced, Imelda was up there with the best. I owed her nothing. But I couldn't just let her die. Agreed. Holy shit. I arrived to find the Palais Royal courtyard deserted. I only hoped that I'd beaten the assassin here. I had to warn Imelda before it was too late. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, what do we got again? We got these messages. We got these pictures. Can we combine uh, this? No. Oh, no. Okay, fine. Jeez. All right. Now, I remember this part. Let's go to the door. And look at it. Look at it! Look at it! For someone who is so... Fushon's front door. There was a fresh scratch on the paint. The kind that's left when someone's picked the lock. If I was right, Imelda was getting a lesson from a mime artist. And it wasn't the old moving staircase routine. Hmm. Yeah, for someone who's so concerned about... A uh, The intercom system wasn't working. Bad sign. Somebody had cut the wire. Locked? No way was I going to break through a door like that. Uh, well, you're a girl, so that means that you're a master lockpicker. A hair clip to pick a high security lock? Might work in a movie, but not for me. Hmm. Anyways, like I was trying to say- Oh, 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 I remember this part. For somebody who's, uh, concerned about, uh, somebody else's life, she does walk as if she's so casual. I uh, gotta go and Just save this person's life. Not retaining wire. What do we got? Do we have anything that can break it? As I remember. It was held in place by wires. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't art after all. Maybe it was a cell phone transmitter. People yeah. say, what's the point of modern art? I say, isn't it obvious? 
Well, um, it, here in Florida, they do disguise uh, cell phone towers as uh, fixed tight as palm trees. Presumably to stop critics stealing it. Who else would want to? Come on. Hey. I unhooked the first wire. I then unbuttoned the second strap. I then pulled out my bra. Oh god, that's not even funny. I released the second wire. Even with both wires removed, the statue remained upright. If I could deconstruct this, I could deconstruct anything. Yes, like a puzzle. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of neat. The window had been repaired with industrial plastic sheeting. Oh. The plastic sheet was thick and strong. I'd need more than my hands to tear it. Um... Um, no. No, I didn't think so. Hmm. Oh, I see. Because of the flat edge. Hmm. Is there anything we can interact with in here? Quickly! My god, I'm too late. Shit, son. Imelda. Oh no. Nico? Don't worry, you're going to be alright. You know that isn't true. It was Merlin, wasn't it? Dressed as a cavalier. Cavalier? Absurd. You came to warn me, didn't you? I must be crazy. Let me see you, Nico. All this time you were just using me. Which one is the real Imelda? What? You are an extraordinary girl. Thierry would have been so proud of you. You didn't know my father. So like him. Something about the eyes. I wish we'd had time to get to know each other. <laughs> she was gone. Wait. She cheated me. Lied to me. People... Used me. Don't die this way. But why? Even in death, Imelda looked the same. Beautiful. Inscrutable. The Ice Queen alone in her ice palace. Oh. Around her neck was a locket. I immediately grave robbed her. I opened it. Inside was a tiny gold key. Wait. Tiny gold key. I know what this key's key. for. I had to leave. I knew I could never return. I then jumped into the air and bursted through the ceiling and flew through the air. I immediately teleported inside of my apartment. It was the key from Imelda's locket. The box was carved by my father. It never had a key. Until the now! It was a perfect match to Cochon's. I took out the key. My god, that was like a long I shot. I, yeah. Imelda's key opened my father's box. I, I thought it was usually the other way around. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. It was a photograph of Imelda, but why here, in my father's box? Usually it's... men don't have boxes. I felt as if a black hole had swallowed me up. Imelda and Carchon grinning. While behind them a village was being razed to the ground. Its people butchered. And there, next to them, 
staring out at me across the years. My own father. Well, look at his face. There was a letter. I feared there was even worse to come. Mm hmm. Hotel St. Georges, Algiers, Friday. My darling Thierry, by the time you read this, you'll be safely out of Africa. You need not fear. Pierre and the organization do not know who you are really working for. Or about us. Did you think I would betray you? I could not. You wanted me to leave him, but I don't have your courage. I know too much of what has been going on here. They would find me and they would kill us both. Enjoy your life in Paris, Thierry. Your life of honor, of patriotic duty. Do they give medals to spies? No. Spies? They'll just give you a funny job in an embassy somewhere. I could never share that with you. Imagine me, a diplomat's wife. So I must stay here with Pierre, the two of us bound together by what we have done to this country. Au revoir, my love. You will be in my heart until I die. Imelda. Suddenly everything made sense. Is she our mother? I've been working undercover for the government. He was one of the good guys after all. Um. Ha. Huh. So your father was a he spy. He must have fallen in love. She'd found out who he really was, so he had to leave. It had broken her heart, but she had never revealed it to anyone. Mm. I knew I couldn't either. Oh, good. Whatever he was doing, he'd had good reason to keep it secret. Mm. I decided I would respect that and tell nobody. So apparently her husband was with bad people who were raising him, and her father was a spy trying to get some dirt on him. Hmm. Quite appropriate that she uh, grew up to be who she is. Well. The next morning... Oh. I knew it was George. Oh. For a moment I was tempted to pretend that I was out. Or ask him to go away and come back later. But then... But then... Come in. Hello, George. So, where did you stay last night? At McDevitt's. I got to drinking with Doyle and a couple of the guys. That explains why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Mm. Not much. Mm. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he snore? Hardly. He was dead. Good. Yeah. Leary woke me in the middle of the night to help bail out the cellar. The cellar was flooded? Yeah. Some idiot had left the faucet running. Oh, and God damn it, that was me. And has disappeared? Without a trace. But my visit wasn't a complete waste of time. I gotta look back at it. Whoa. The Templar's gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. What are your plans? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfaucon was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. Oh. Hmm. Wait, we... Oh, oh, okay, no. Look, Nico, a handful of plaster. Not even in a container. Yeah. Why is it that men never really grow up? What's your problem, sister? <laughs> your pocket stuffed with useless junk like little boys. You never know when useless junk might come in handy. Coming from the girl who has, like, a bunch of shit in her pocket, too. Oh, no, no okay. You know what? The, here, here's the difference, okay? Guys don't carry around purses, okay? We don't. I mean, like, some might, but, you know... Uh, like, women have, like, purses full of shit, okay? I should know. I have two sisters. Alright. Um... Well, then again, the time that I grew up with them, they never really used purses, so... I can't sit here all day, much as I'd like to. Okay. Hint, hint. Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Kron Museum. And why don't you see if Rosso has heard anything? Okay. Oh, okay. Anything else I can do for you while I'm out? Shopping, a trip to the laundromat? Just take care of yourself. Ah. What did I tell you? These guys are going to hook up.
He then exploded immediately so after leaving the house. I talked to George about everything that had happened, but I knew I never could. My father's connection to Africa would have to remain a secret forever. His bravery would be known only to the government and to me. Aww. Revealing it would just damage his memory. People would take the story and twist it. Right. Before long, he would be the villain and Carchon would be the hero. Right. I know how they do that. I'm a journalist. Smart girl. Smart, smart girl. Okay. Looking at the time, we are past the 15-minute mark. In the next episode, we are, I guess, we'll go to uh, the police station. All right. See you then. Bye.